It's definitely getting out of hand, whether it's Paul Feinbaum, whether it's Heather Dennis, whether it's Stephen A. Smith yesterday, whether it's whoever at ESPN, they're clearly, clearly is the agenda they're pushing. But one of my biggest things with Paul Feinbaum is I was watching the show today, and as you see, these are some comments. Shout out to Lewis Riddick first. Let me say this. Lewis Riddick, Lewis Riddick must have ties in Michigan because he loves Detroit. He was the first one talking about the Detroit Lions. And also, he is one of the most common sense individuals ever as it relates to the conversation at hand when he was talking today. Can you I are, just set this up for oh, you please, real set quick? Set it up, set it up, set this it up. This is the same freaking show. Yep. Okay. 100%. This is the same show within one hour of each other. You've got Lewis Riddick going out there saying, uh, guys, this is absolutely nothing. People need to stop being up in arms about this. And then you have Feinbaum saying Jim Harbaugh should never coach another game at, Ohio, at Michigan. Yeah. At 100%. It, you know, I mean, it's it's incredible. And also, the, the biggest problem with me is the just the due process. And I think people mistake the due process with apathy. You know, that's something that I heard, and I believe it 100%. They mistake the due process of them going through everything, going through all the findings, figuring things out, so that when they do have something to present, when they do have a ruling to make, then it makes sense because they've done all their due diligence. Ryan Armani, what if they would have made a ruling last week? What if they would have made a ruling last week, and then this stuff comes out about what Ohio State had, about what records have, about what, what they present? to Purdue, now you're right back to square one. So do you now have to rush to Ohio State to ban them? Do you have to rush to Rutgers to ban them? The funny thing about Paul Feinbaum, he said something very brilliant last year. I gave him a lot of credit for it. He was talking about how Michigan has turned the tide against the uh, the Ohio State or Ohio State. The D my ass. The reason why they've turned the time, this is according to Paul Feinbaum. This is last year, Ryan and Monty Tom Asaway. If you look at 2014, if you look at when Urban Meyer was there, when they won the national championship, those guys were built on defense as well as offense. They had mean defensive lines. They had ter they had great running game. They had great offensive line as well, and they also had great defensive backs. Well, as they understood what was the, the college playoff was going or where it was headed, now they start recruiting guys, and it's more of a finesse school. Like they don't have like when they were dominating Michigan, you can name the defensive linemen that were going there. You can name the offensive line that was going there. When they were dominating the Michigan, they had the Bosa brothers. They had Sam Hubbard, who got the, the Cincinnati Bengals uh, fumble recovery last year against the Ravens in 94 yards. They had Chase Young. Chase Young had 19 sacks in the season. They dominated. They had defensive backs. They had Denzel Ward, who was the highest paid defensive back two years ago in Cleveland. They had Marshawn Lattimore. They had a guy that we drafted third overall, and that being Jeff Okuda. That's what they were dealing with when they were really dominant. But then all of a sudden, they started to go heavy on the offense. More Chris Olaves, more in Jackson, uh, Jackson Smith and Jigbas, more on the quarterback side of things. Garrett Wilson. Garrett Wilson is another one. Now you got arguably the best wide receiver we've seen in the modern era uh, at Ohio State now, and Marvin Harrison Jr., Andy Buka. They don't have those same defensive linemen. When's the last time they had a D lineman get drafted first overall? When's I mean, in the first round. When's the last time they had a defensive back that was in that top elite? When's the last time they had that? They haven't had it. When's the last time we heard a linebacker that Ohio State? Oh, man, they got this linebacker coming. They don't have that anymore because they're a finesse school. This is what Paul Feinbaum said last year, Ryan. And I, I said, you know what? That's, that's, that's genius. This is the truth. And now today he uses that same conversation. He says, I mean, I don't understand. All of a sudden, Michigan is beating Ohio State. They were losing. They got blown out by 50. And now all of a sudden, they're winning. Paul Feinbaum, you said that same conversation last year. And he took a different tone. See, things like that. Art what pisses me off because it's not the same and it's not honest.